Over the last several days, we've been hearing from community members in Uvalde, Texas, as they've navigated the anguish of a mass shooting that left 21 dead, two teachers and 19 children. Here's how the Uvalde community is remembering, processing and reflecting, in their own words. Syria Aris Mendy, Eliana Garcia's aunt, said the 10-year-old loved being with their family. On Tuesday night, the family told the Associated Press they waited until close to midnight to learn that Eliana was dead. At the congregation where he served as pastor for 50 years, Julio Moreno remembered how his great-granddaughter Alexandria Alexia Rubio had big plans for her life. Adding to the anguish felt by many in the community, questions about how long it took law enforcement to confront the shooter, and if lives could have been saved have been top of mind. NPR's PN Wong spoke with Monique Rodriguez, one of the parents outside the school during the shooting, who says she begged law enforcement to enter the classroom where the shooter was. NPR's A. Martinez spoke with a Uvalde couple whose livelihood relies in many ways on guns. Gail and Pat Joukowsky help hunters process the wild game they shoot. Gail says she's first one hunting at age 10. The couple worries Rob Elementary was a soft target because none of the teachers were armed. The mother of Alethea Ramirez, one of the fourth graders killed, was asked by reporters, what should happen now? Just more security in the schools. I don't want this to happen again. A Martinez also met Leah Ranch outside a community vigil for the victims of the shooting at Rob Elementary, where Ranch was comforting a teenage girl in tears. Ranch says she attended the vigil because, ITS a tight-knit community. We're small. And I have a grandson that goes to school in Uvalde.